and everybody needs social distancing too, even Ramsey Street residents, as the cast and crew of Neighbours return to filming fictional stories, they've had to face facts by avoiding contact and undergoing daily temperature checks. We decided to look at our production and split it up into separate teams um, so that if we did have an incident, we could very quickly um, look at the individual, look at who they've interacted with and, and really limit limit the you know, the, the exposure to, to any one person on site. No, I don't care what you think of him. Soaps haven't just been turned upside down under in Oz. UK shows are considering how they'll be able to restart safely and avoid running out of episodes. This is a pub. Do you know what that's short for? Oh. One ITV boss suggested older cast members won't be walking down Corrie's cobbles when it returns, so how will scriptwriters manage? If we can only have two people in a scene, no snogging, uh, that kind of thing, we we will write it, but the restrictions have to be agreed upon first and then we can get going again. So what do soap fans make of it all? And when their favourite programmes do start filming again, to what extent should storylines reflect the reality of what's been happening in real life? I mean, I think it's important that they do reflect it. The, it. Although the soaps are heightened reality, they are still set in reality, be it that when they return to recording the soap, they could perhaps say about the lockdown, um, or they could say that Queen Vic's been closed for the last two months. Lockdown and coronavirus is just such a part of our daily lives now. It's, you're thinking about it all the time. It's everywhere on the television. So soaps do need to have that bit of escapism where you can just get away from the world a little bit. I don't stand a chance. Our favourite soaps, which have been broadcast continuously for decades, are a constant at a time of uncertainty. Neighbours' bosses believe they've found the perfect blend to stay on air and stay safe. Alan Jenkins, 5 News. <laughs>